Hello folks, welcome to the Spawn TV. I'm Sylvester Chirukle. The Labyrinth Press Day Let is being honored right here at the Nante Intercessory Prayer Ministry in Pinesville. It is re remarked awarded this certificate of honor in recognition of diligent services to the first family. The church and the humanity done giving honor our, our hands and by authority of the National Era Council of the Unity Party this 12th day of the of January 1823. Our Zango F. B. Willing, Secretary General, National Era Council. After Paul Washington, Senior Advisor, National Era Council. K. Jonathan Nabala, Senior, Chairman, National Era Council. We are glad this morning, Mother, to present this no. certificate to you what we have to do. Now we come to our big papa and uncle of the land. We have also a certificate of honor for His Excellency Ambassador Joseph Yuman Baraka, President Lex. Jesus, my dear. When you read the book of Daniel chapter 16, verses 11, the Bible says that God said to Moses, there are 70 errors of the land whom you know that are errors with people of Israel in Jesus' mighty name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The errors being in this country is for the reason yes. in Jesus' mighty name. Yes. His Excellency, our President elect, at times I'm tired of say President elect because you will be two days, as I said, President of the Republic of Nigeria. Yeah. The National Air Council of the Green Party, yeah. National Air Economic Bunch, Middle Bunch. Stamford Hill, Broad Street, 1100 State Liberia. His Excellency, Joseph Newman Waka, President of the Republic of Liberia, is awarded this certificate of honor as the first national error of the United Party in recognition of his landmark victory during the November 14, 2023 run of as president, presidential election. Give him honor, our hands. And by the authority of the National Air Council of the Unity Party, this 12 days of January 2024. Signed, Azago FBS Wally, Secretary General, National Air Council. Air of Paul Washington, Senior Advisor approved. K. Jonathan Nakoli, Senior Chairman, National Air Council. Mr. President. It is my strong vanity, a pleasing mm. pleasure, to represent, especially coming from the Southeast, to present this certificate mm. because of your honor, because of your integrity, because of the character you carry. Some of us who want to be like you. Amen. You are the role model for this nation. Yes, it wasn't, it wasn't lie. When the prophet said, "King, that I got a leader that the people will like, they will admire, they will become a leader that will lead this country." And this is the time for you, His Excellency. On behalf of the errors, I'm presenting this certificate to you. And if you take it in high state, in Jesus' name. Somebody so the president elect of the Republic of Liberia is being honored for his dedication towards this ministry also as the elected president of the Republic of Liberia. In Jesus' mighty name.
Amen. I'll give the ball to take some remarks. Just remarks from special people in this house. Hallelujah. And first on our lips, we'll be calling to this podium the powerful chairman of the United Party. The chairman that won this party that we are celebrating today. In the presence of Dr. J. Luther Tappet. Put your hands together. Thank you very much. His Excellency Joseph Newman Boakai, President elect of the Republic of Liberia. Our incoming First Lady, few years from now, Madam Boakai, the mother of the land. Let me also recognize my dear wife, Mrs. Christine Tapper, who's with me today. And all of the distinguished guests of our president elect who are here representing his office. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, United Partisans, Rescue Team, the former state. I salute all of you and thank you for this honor of returning to God to give him the glory. I'm glad, Mommy Bwakai, that you and the prayer team have come here to give God glory. We did not behave like the nine lepers who received their healing and never returned to say, thank you, Lord. I used to be a member of the KYB Foundation. But I guess I ran away a little bit. Uh, and I, I joined His Excellency. And I became very politically active and began to cheer myself. I ran away from KYB and went to GMB. <laughs> but don't worry, because I John Oil and John Palm Oil and John Rice. Now they say John. And so I'm privileged uh, to be here. And uh, on behalf of the party, we want to express our deepest gratitude to all of you who took time to pray for these elections. Every librarian around the world knew that it would have been an impossible task to have brought a man that God has prepared for many years for this task without the prayers of the church. And so on behalf of the party, we want to say thank you. Thank you for your prayers. Your prayers keep the peace of our nation. Your prayers sustain the electoral process and there was no violence at all. To God be the glory. Let me close with this. Why you pray during the time of elections? We want to urge you to continue to pray for the president led. I was telling somebody last night, I said sometimes when you give people power, there's a shift in their thinking and their behavior. But as the national chairman, I'm very proud to announce to Liberia that ever since His Excellency has been declared a winner of this election, he has not shifted one bit from his vision for Liberia. He sees this as an assignment from God to deliver his people. And so I want to say to all of us in this hall today, let's pray for him. That a good plan of the Lord in his heart will not be hijacked by the enemy. 
So I want to say thank you for all the nice days and may God bless us and bless our country. Thank you very much. That's the first of the National Church President of yeah, the Luther Party, Reverend Luther Tapper, making a special remarks. Amen. Hallelujah. Second on our list, we'll be calling the Rescue Queen. Amen. Hallelujah. You don't do it in the lesson, I enjoy learning. The last night I was spoken to Facebook. But let's say the honorable young Kanga Lauren referred to her as the executive mother. Amen. So we'll be calling the executive mother to this podium for a remark in presence of Madam Mandula Cooper. Put your hands together for the next queen. For the executive mother. Let me acknowledge the Holy Spirit presence in this place this afternoon. Yeah. I want to thank God for everything that God has done to get us this far. And secondly, let me say, I bless God for my mother, KYB. Amen. I will leave the best for last. My mommy is a very strong woman. And we, as the people of Liberia, we are very blessed to have this woman as the First Lady. Amen. The International Intercessory Prayer Ministry, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for being of strong support to her. I see all the familiar faces here. My aunties, all of them were always in the house praying with her. She's a woman of God, and that is why God has laid this responsibility of her, of her life to establish the KYB Foundation. Because you know when I know what I'm doing, my president's here, I will acknowledge him. God has laid this responsibility of her life to help the widows, poor, and the orphans. When those individuals are left behind, our nation will suffer. The mothers must be strong to care for the family. Of course, that is not only her responsibility, but she does play a major role. The children must be educated to carry the vision of the future. If they are not educated, our nation will suffer. The widows, the widows and the poor, we must always remember the widows and the poor in our nation. They are God's opportunity for those of us who have been blessed to extend God's hands of some support to someone. And so I say thank you to our mother, Mrs. Borkai, for answering the call of God to serve the poor, the orphans, and the widows. So please, church, let us give, us a, give her a big round of applause. And the reason why I ask for a round of applause for her because we all have the opportunity to answer God's call to serve the poor, the widows and the orphans, but sometimes we're too occupied or preoccupied with our own burdens of life and we forget to call answer God's call to serve the poor, the widows, and the orphans in our society. It is government responsibility to provide the tools that the citizens of the land need to take care of themselves and their families. But when government has a shortfall in budgets, it is charities that come to lift the people of the nation up. And so, yes, we all hail the government, but we must not forget the charities. And so today, I say to my mother, our incoming first lady, may God continue to bless you. May God continue to strengthen you. Because the role of a first woman in a nation is not easy. You are going to face attacks. You are going to face jealousy and envy. Yeah. While you are trying to do God's work, the attacks will come. Yeah. But be strong, mommy. Yeah. Be very strong. Yeah. And I would like to acknowledge my leader, my president. I forgot it. God, I was at that time. I was my president. Like yeah. Me, I forget I was. My president. Let us all stand and give it up for our president. Yeah. I love what it means to say. Please give a round of applause for my president. The man of God came up here and said, he gave an example.
example of when, 2016, 2017, when there was an event being held somewhere, right? And they, they called all people to come and do the thing that they meant to do. Yeah. And although the men saw it, but at the same time the men said, to God be the glory. He never stopped praising God until he got that victory and now, just a few months ago, a few weeks ago. He continued to praise. And that is one thing we must always remember and about his excellency, President elect Joseph Newman Boca. He's a man of God and he has continued to praise. And we, the people of this nation, must continue to remember that about him. He's a man of God. And let's always hold him up as a man of God. And let's always continue to pray for him as a man of God. Because that's the only way he will be able to, be able to carry the burden of this nation. The burden, not easy to you. My people, probably all that, that country are in big problems. And we will not sit here and be innocent and act like we don't know the country get trouble. The past six years has been an issue in this country. And he's inheriting that. So I say to all of us, on behalf of the rescue mission, on behalf of the entire rescue mission, and he, His Excellency, has given us this opportunity to join him, hand in hand, to rescue this nation. Let us continue to pray for him. Let us continue to uplift him and his family because the attacks are coming already. Yeah. You hearing it? But we let God do God's work. Let us continue to pray for our people. Let us continue to support our mother in her efforts to support the poor, the orphans, and the widow. God bless all of you on behalf of the rescue mission. God bless you. Amen. That was the voice of the executive mother. In Jesus' mighty name. Okay. We are drawing our curtain. We will be taking a selection of a powerful singer. And right after that selection, we will be calling on the Holy Ghost. Our Oshkin, our Father. Hallelujah. The selection will be done by Pastor Jida Kekuba. She's going to be leading us to a wonderful selection. But after that, we're going to see the protocol on this podium to usher in our VIP in Jesus' mighty name. I was shocked when I heard of God saying, I want you to do special selection for my husband and I. Hallelujah. And I felt so blessed and humble. And God is taking the suffering. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.
um, incoming beautiful first lady, the guest preacher, the pastors, officers, and members of this great, great ministry, pastors, and members of other ministry and churches here present, the government official here present, members of the president-elect entourage, members of the rescue team here present, lady and gentlemen of the full estate, special invited guests, Christian brothers and sisters. It is my honor to invite to the podium His Excellency Joseph Yumai Boaka, the President elect of the Republic of Liberia, for his honor. So, the President elect of the Republic of Liberia will now mount the podium. A special remark right here at the Nazi Justiciary for your ministry. service that probably don't consider this as a closing chapter. It is actually the beginning of the work that is done to it. And secondly, no matter what role you play, don't think it was not important and crucial to the outcome of what is happening. The other one is that we have that we continue to look up to God because when we are in the campaign, I tell people I'm on a mission and it's not a matter of presidency, it's on a mission to rescue this country. 
And I'm going to see it with feeling. So, we want to thank the members of the rescue team. And uh, jokingly, I was in the streets. And somebody told me they went to the airline to get a ticket. And one of the airline agents said, one worker like you are feeling blood in all the airlines. <laughs> the number of people that have been waiting to come back home. Why were they waiting for this time? Because yeah. this is a cost. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes. Yeah. And you see Mary Baker sitting down fighting everybody. <laughs> <laughs> But I also see my nephew, the uh, elder kind, so stubborn, even at the age of what, 93 now? He went all the way to Lofa to go and campaign. And he came back. When he said, again, yeah, I want to go back, I said, oh. But I want to say to all of us like you, this is a God in country. No matter what you think about it, the God will do the best in us. We love you, care, and what is, whatever, is purpose you will fulfill at a time you decide to do it. And we believe in that. And God is going to reward all of you for your secret prayers, for your devotion, your commitment, your sacrifices to make this nation to become what God wants it to be. Yeah. I have no reason to doubt that this nation is poised to be blessed. Yeah. And you can see for the of people who want to come and want to this leadership and all the way to And we believe this world will So I'm happy today and I'm grateful that we have organized this prayer service for us. We want to be thankful to all of you for committing your life and dedicating it to this world. Are all together. This is not victory for unity time, it's not victory for anybody. It is a victory for people like you who yeah. I believe that one day God was going to rescue our country. Yeah. So I want to say today we are very grateful to you for all of what you've done to be sure. They were in the media, they were in the church somewhere. And uh, I was just looking around. I see that this is almost a physiotherapic training. Also, I saw my sister there sitting in front of her and twisting. But every time we're getting out there for for, for playing in my phone, not playing in my feet, but I saw the feet all straightened up. <laughs> so, we want to thank God for everything. Uh, and for all of those who are on this board, I'm surprised to see my own daughter, Masa, I know the great American on this board. Uh, but everybody has been there. And everybody has been wishing for the country. You can't just imagine on the day of the announcement what's happened in this country. The shower of blessings. The restoration of the other made people like better, but people are happier. Volunteering to clean the streets. Volunteering to do things. So you can't say it is not going to be true. We want to continue that move. And we want to say to all of you, we're very grateful. And we know for sure 
God is going to bless our country in a way we none of us will understand. And we are just the youth of the country to bring leadership. I tell you, it's not presidency. That this country has lacked is leadership. And that's what we are, what I expressly can do here to provide that leadership, the credibility, leadership, the honesty, leadership to promote the dignity of our country and be respected. I want to thank you again for being here, all of us, all of those who are in attendance for your service. May God continue to bless us. And thank you again. And I'm uh, coming for us later for your uh, devotion and commitment to work through this ministry to do what you can. I know some of you have seen Abel's there, we were in the castle, we were everywhere. And you know, one thing I always say, if you are on a mission, went somewhere, if all the dogs about at you, you stand to feel like a damn English. <laughs> so don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I can't do what you do. At the end of the day, you won't believe how many of them coming back now to the bag and say, no, we are not any of the people. We have a responsibility to our government. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh,